Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. I know the one in whom I trust, and I'm sure that he's able to guard what I've entrusted to him until the day of his return. Security is a big issue in our society. Billions of pounds are spent each year in the attempt to keep things safe. Nothing can make it clearer that, sadly, we live with a massive level of insecurity. I've only once lived in a house which had its own safe. It was so heavy that we never attempted to move it, but we found it the best place to hide chocolate biscuits when our children were young. We didn't have anything more valuable to put inside, and I often gleefully imagined the disappointment of anyone who tried to break into it with an oxyacetylene torch. Paul knew that there was no security issue more important than his salvation. In today's verse, he celebrates the fact that God is totally reliable and would keep him absolutely safe until Jesus returned or called him to himself. In a world of insecurities, we need to be sure that our salvation is secure. Paul's words don't mean that we just sit back and let God get on with the job of guarding us. We have our part to play as well. Two verses later, he tells Timothy to carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to him through the power of the Holy Spirit. We can be confident of God's ability to keep us safe, but we need to play our part in looking after the treasure that has been given to us. It's clear from this verse that Paul's security lay not in knowing certain facts or doctrines, but in knowing a person. He had a living and intimate relationship with Jesus, and because he knew what Jesus was like, he could be confident about the future. I hope with all my heart that you also know Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, and as a result, that you're able to look to the future with complete confidence. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we're able to place our lives and our future entirely in your hands. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcast, which of course you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Have a great day.